Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. I'm sorry that I had some audio trouble yesterday. Sometimes these computers, you know, we never know what's going to happen. But I hope you got the gist of the message. The message is that we are responsible to give a godly heritage to our children and our children's children, according to Psalm 78. And as the message broke up yesterday, I was saying that I challenge you to lay on your face before God in the behalf of your children and your children's children. Now, I was talking yesterday not about just general praying going down the road, because when you go down the road, most people do pray about traffic and everything else, and they kind of spend that time. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about sincere, dedicated, private time on your knees, on your face before God. Now, someone might say, I can't get on my knees. Well, God understands all that if you can't. But if you can, it is a sign of humility. It is a sign of reverence to bow your knee. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. And listen, God deserves that from you if you're capable of getting on your knees. Now, don't do it if you're going to physically hurt yourself. But you and I need to set time aside to get on our knees, lay on our face before a holy God. If an athlete, a movie star, someone that you were fond of or was kind of a hero to you, said to you, I will meet you at five o'clock in the morning. I will give you one hour to ask any questions you want to ask, and I will answer anything you ask me. You, It would be hard for you to sleep. Some athlete that you uh, loved watching, some uh, movie star, whatever. I mean, you'd, you'd have a hard time sleeping. The one that holds the world in his hands loves you, cares for you. The one that gives you the next breath that you take says to you, Seek me and you can find me. Knock and it shall be opened. Ask, and you shall receive. Beloved, our children, our families, our lives deserve the very best, and God Almighty deserves your attention for giving His Son that we might be saved. There is no greater opportunity we have than to intimately draw ourselves closer to God. Now, please hear me. The devil will fight your prayer life more than he fights anything else. You can read some verses of Scripture. That's fine, and we ought to do that. You can give an offering, and that's fine, and we ought to do that. You can volunteer for the church. You can do things that you need to do. And we ought to do that. But prayer time is something that is warfare on your knees before God. And I want to tell you by experience, you will intimately enter a realm that you have never been before when you honor God and you come before Him with confession and admiration and desiring wisdom and knowledge, your life will change. And Satan fights that. Our children, our grandchildren, those of you that have them, they are going to be in a difficult time. Money, as I said yesterday, is good. Real estate, nothing wrong with it. But what you can give them is sincerity, earnestness, a purity of worship, and a relationship that not only you talk to them about, but they see in you. And when you plant that in them, it will grow. Because listen, they are going to be in a challenging America. We are in a challenge in America today. Jump up 50 years. Think about what might happen. 
There's not going to be many godly instructors when the world continues to go backwards quickly. I challenge you, make it a point of your mission to instill in your children and your grandchildren and hopefully in their children to come that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Folks, if we don't do it, we are failing in our responsibility. So, get up a little earlier. Lay before the Master. Draw strength from His bleeding side. Walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. And God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.